continue our discussion of limits and continuity by looking at vertical asymptotes. We want to both find them and sketch them. Vertical asymptotes will appear when we have a variable in the denominator and it causes the denominator to have a value of zero. Care needs to be taken though because if a variable factor in the denominator cancels with one in the numerator, we don't have a vertical asymptote. Instead, we have a removable discontinuity. That's like a hole in the graph. Let's look at a specific example. g of x equals x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. Let's find all the vertical asymptotes and sketch a graph. We begin like by looking at the domain and seeing where there's a problem. Notice we have x squared minus 1 is in the denominator. So you might think that we have two vertical asymptotes. However, because x plus 1's are in the, both the numerator and the denominator, this cancels. And when you set x plus 1 equal to 0, x equal to negative 1, we're going to have a hole in the graph there. On the other hand, x minus 1, when we set that equal to 0, we will, in fact, have a vertical asymptote when x equals 1. So we draw our x equal 1 asymptote. If we find just a couple of values when x is 0, by putting 0, we're going to put numbers in here. If we put 0 in for x, we wind up with a negative 1 for y. If we put a 2 in for x, we wind up with a 1 for y. 3 for x is 0 0.5. And negative 1 actually gives us a, a hole in the graph. So let's plot those points. We have 0, negative 1, 0, negative 1. We have 2, 1. We have 3, 1 half. We have a hole in the graph here. So if we go to negative 3, we get 0.25. Negative 2 is a third. So we have here it's an asymptote this way an asymptote this way, but we do in fact have a hole when x equals negative 1. So we've found and sketched vertical asymptotes as well as looked at what happens if we have a removable discontinuity when the numerator and denominator factor cancel out.